Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. In this video I'll be unboxing, assembling, and setting up and testing this DIY kit mini sent to me by Algo Laser. I think the overseas companies have finally figured out that the American companies like UPS, FedEx, and even the good old United States Postal Service handle packages like gorillas, so they package them with custom cut Kaizen foam. This laser from Algo Laser was very well packaged and arrived without a scratch. The small package was a 10 pack of 3 millimeter plywood, approximately 12 inches by 12 inches, so I'll have lots of material for engraving and cutting tests. The kit includes some metal business cards, a brush, some wire ties for the cable management, a quick start guide, and several sheets of Certificate of Conformity. Those should make for some awesome bathroom reading. The main parts of the frame are labeled with stickers to make it easy to get them in the right place. I assembled the four main parts of the frame with a single screw in each corner, then slid the X-axis frame onto the main frame. Then I flipped the frame over to add an L bracket in each corner with two screws. The hole that's left is for the screw-in feet. Next I flipped it back over and installed the red anodized plates to each corner as I'm showing here. These are used to tension the belts. Installing the belts and getting them under the wheels and over the sprocket is a little fiddly but I managed. The belt should be snug but not too tight and not too loose. I put a screw with a washer to hold the belt's tension as shown here. Everything should move freely without binding and no slippage. Next I installed the limit switch mounting plate with two M2.5 by 9 millimeter screws and then the limit switch with two M2.5 by 9 millimeter screws. It's important to check the manual to make sure you have the orientation of the limit switch correct. Installing the laser module could not be any easier. Simply slide the laser module into the bracket and tighten the enclosed thumb screws. I forgot to record mounting the control box and plugging in the cable connections, but they are all clearly marked and most of the plugs are keyed so they can only be plugged in one way. It was so easy that I was done before I realized I wasn't recording. This laser kit came with the 10 watt laser module and if you look close you can see that it has a quick disconnect fitting for the air assist. This kit does not have the air pump for the air assist included but the folks from Algo Laser sent me one to use with this laser. I'll be installing it a little later. Okay I manually added this new laser to my Lightburn software and to do that I just click down here on devices and it opens up this window here. You can see I have my Ohm Tech and my Otour Laser Master 2 Pro. So I just click Create Manually. Come up to, it's asking for what kind of controller. I'm just going to select Gerbil. Click Next. It's going to be connected with a serial USB. So I click Next there. And what would I like to call it? Let's call it uh, Algo Laser uh, DIY Kit Mini. And then I'm going to add 10 watt right there. The uh, size of the work area is 300 millimeters by 315. And then click next. Auto home your laser on startup, that's okay. And then the home position is in the front left. So I just click next there. And that's it. So now we can click finish. And now it's showing here and we are ready to try this out. And you can see I have my ohm tech as default, but I can drop this down and change this to the algo laser. 
and then you can also see that it's now changed the screen to be a 300 by 315. So we're ready to start. I started by engraving this picture that I had ran before using the settings of my O2 or 5 watt laser of 6,000 millimeters per minute and 60% power. I figured that because this algo laser is a 10 watt instead of a 5 watt that the picture might be a little darker and that's how it turned out. So I ran another engraving at 9,000 millimeters per minute and 60% power and it came out more like the original picture. Next I found this picture of a grizzly bear that I had ran on my Ohmtec 80 watt laser. I first tried running at the same 9000 millimeters per minute 60% power settings but then I found a 10 watt laser module settings PDF in the file section of the Algo Laser official user group on Facebook. It suggested using 15,000 millimeters per minute and 100% power which I used for this second run. Can you see any difference? They both look pretty good to me. Next I ran some simple text first using the line mode then the fill mode And finally, the multi-mode with both line and fill. Next, I engraved one of the enclosed business cards. The Algo Laser Manual says that these are metal cards, but they don't say what kind of metal. They are really flimsy and feel like plastic, but I'm guessing that they're a very thin aluminum with some kind of coating. There were only three of them included, so I'm going to purchase some more of these to get this dialed in. I moved on to running some test cards so that I could see what the ca cutting capabilities are for this 10 watt laser. I'm using 3 millimeter and 5 millimeter plywood and no air assist for these first tests. Here is the first card for the 3 millimeter plywood and you can see that it cut 13 of the 25 squares and then after a minimal amount of persuasion, I was able to get two more squares pushed out for a total of 15. For the five millimeter plywood, I was only able to cut four of the 25 squares and with a little pushing, I got one more to pop out. So now after seeing what this little 10 watt laser would do without the air assist, I was curious to see what improvement, if any, I would get by using the air assist. After installing the air assist and running it maxed out, I was only able to see a slight improvement with the 3 millimeter plywood. Interestingly, I could not get the 275 millimeter per minute 60% power square pushed out, although it cut easily without the air assist. I did, however, see a marked improvement when using the air assist with the 5 millimeter plywood. At this point in the video, let me just take a minute to say if you're still watching, I appreciate you sticking around. If you've enjoyed this video and found it to be informative, please leave me a thumbs up and consider becoming a subscriber to my channel. I'm going to wrap up this video by talking about my first impressions and some likes and dislikes about this Algo Laser DIY Kit Mini. First of all, the quick start guide is very well written with lots of pictures that make the assembly super easy even for a guy like me that's not exactly good at reading directions. The fit and finish of this machine is excellent and I believe this machine would make a great machine for either the beginner or an experienced laser user. If I had to pick one thing, and I'm not even going to call this a dislike, I would like to see an emergency stop button. There is no e-stop on this machine and I believe that anytime you combine laser beams and flammable materials, all machines, no matter how inexpensive, 
should have an emergency stop. At the time of recording this video, the Algo Laser DIY Kit Mini Laser Engraver with the 5 watt laser module is available on their website for $199. The Algo Laser DIY Kit Mini Laser Engraver with the 10 watt laser module that you've seen in this video is available on their website for $249. Both of these are a great value in my opinion, but I would recommend spending the extra 50 bucks and get the 10 watt laser module option so that you can add the air assist. The air assist pump is not included and must be, must be purchased separately. The air assist is currently available for $109 on their website. I'll have some links below in the video description if you want to check out any of the great products from Algo Laser, there will also be some discount codes that can help you save a bundle on your purchase. So until the next one, thank you very much for watching.